Once again, backstage here at Rip Fest with uh, the Jay Bird That Sings. Jay from Rival Sons. How you doing, brother? I'm very good. It's good to be here with you. Yeah, thanks for coming uh, back to uh, to play the Motor City. You guys were just here. And then, of course, you guys did that 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 great promo campaign with us, which was fantastic. Oh, yeah. No, I did. <laughs> yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here, especially when the weather's this good. That's yeah, for sure. It's really nice. Coming back through this last year, I think that we... We got to see the worst of it, and so it's great to see the best of it now. You yeah, know? no doubt. So uh, things are uh, pretty exciting for you guys. Of course, you toured throughout the whole summertime. New record, another one dropping. Now, this one's been done for a while, and how excited are you to drop this one? Well, the, uh, both records uh, w we recorded and produced and mixed both records both at the same time. So everything was finished up at the same time, and we chose to partition uh, the collection and split it in two and separate it by, you know, four, four and a half months or so. Um, was there talk of, of putting together like a user illusion type thing or no? No, no, we really didn't want to do that because that's like two chapters to the, you know, in the same big book. But we wanted to force a refractory period where so that so that the first record, so the Dark Fighter that came out in June, so that could be digested like on its own. We live in a binge culture. I mean, we you you give it all up, and then it'll just get binged, and then it, you're not going to get that same context. So just putting one installment out at a time um, is like like I said, like a forced refractory period, so that you could get that context. And finally, when Lightbringer drops on October 20th. Um, you're going to get the other half of that story. Okay. And w what do you think people will, well, what do you think will resonate with people on this record that might be different from the last one? Um, I think that will probably be submitted uh, as an independent party and win the presidency of the United States of America. This is the kind of hard hitting news that we were looking for from uh, Jay. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a given. But, I mean, it's like it's like one of those things where you, you guys have had this. You're, it's done. You're, you can't wait to drop it. You guys play anything off the new record in the set or not yet? Yeah, we'll play one or two songs, I think. Oh, okay. Off, of, uh, off the new record. So what else is going on with you guys in, in the Rival Sons world? You're looking at it, man. We've been touring. This has been a really busy year for us. I mean, you know. So here it is. You know, we're in late September. And we've hung out like three times this year. Yeah, right, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. so we've been we've been on the road promoting the record, and we've been touring mercilessly. And just a few days, we got a, you know, we just finished a, a long U.S. tour with the Smashing Pumpkins, and before that, we had our headline tour in the United States. And then now, in a few days, we've got to take off and play Europe, UK, Europe for mm. six weeks. So. And we'll make it back just in time, like the, I think the day before Thanksgiving. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. You know what, uh, Josh from uh, Bad Flowers just said something to me that I never thought of before, and I've been interviewing and talking to rock bands and in this business for a long time. But he says when you write your first record, you're really writing for nobody, and by the time your second and third record come for comes uh, forward, now you're writing for people. Does that ever cross your mind when you're doing music, or no? Well, I love Josh. I love Bad Flower, and he's a good dude. Um, I, I've always written for nobody. And I think I still write for nobody. Mm. I think I'm insulated, you know, for me artistically. It's like, I know our fans probably don't want to hear it, but like, I'm not writing songs for you. I'm just not. And I'm not singing for you. I'm singing for me. Mm. I'm trying to write songs for me and for like for my heroes and for us when we're in the studio. We're creating songs to challenge each other and we're doing it for each other. And then hopefully those songs, uh, you know, we try to craft the, mo the best artistic statements and make the best songs because we want good music. We yeah. want to play good music. We want to play good songs. And um, because we know that we're going to have to go out and tour and play these songs every night. And that we're really looking to just raise the bar for ourselves first. And then if it translates to the audience, great. Because we want you guys to show up. But when it comes to the actual, like, making of the art we can't really you can't afford to consider what anybody's going to think mm. because like you can't be um you can't be the uh you can't be the subject and the voyeur at the same time mm. like art just 
art doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way for me anyways. So I knew that, I knew that you'd have a clever take on it, uh, an, an original uh, an, an original take on it. That's why I thought I brought that, bring it up to you, because I, I knew that something interesting would come out. Thank you. <laughs> Jay from Rival Sons here. Thank you so much for uh, taking part in Riff Fest. We do appreciate it. And looking forward to the new record dropping October 20th or 21st? October was, 20th. October 20th. Yes, okay. we will be in the U.K., I believe, at that point. I think... Uh, Cambridge, maybe? I don't know. Well, safe travels, and thanks again for everything you do for us here at the Rift. Yeah, listen, we love you guys, and uh, we certainly appreciate the constant support and, you know, running into you guys and coming into the station. You know, it's always like a, a little bit of a homecoming for us, so we're very thankful for all of the support that we get um, in Motor City and... Uh, yeah, we're happy to be here. We're in good company, so thank you. Well, thank you, Jay. Appreciate it. Jay from the Rival Sons here, backstage at Rift Fest.